Hello and thanks for tuning in on this bright sunny morning here in May. Today with me is Jonas, he's a CAT2 vibration analyst and we will talk about monitoring of compressor valves. Jonas, why is it so important to continuously monitor valves of uh, reciprocating compressors? It's so important because 90% of all failures on compressors are concerning the valves. So that is basically the weakest element in the chain. I assume there are different ways to monitor valves. What will your tutorial show our audience? Well, there's basically um, two different ways to, to monitor valves. The first one is to use cylinder vibrations mm -hmm. and just do an indirect measurements what's happening on the machine. And the other thing is uh, to monitor the pressure in the compression chamber to see how is the process behaving. Okay, that sounds pretty interesting. So be so kind and give us a little teaser on the key takeaways of your tutorial. Okay, uh, the key takeaways will be basically what are the advantages and disadvantages of valve monitoring either by cylinder vibrations or by pressure analysis. So I will explain a little bit what can I see on both different ways how to monitor it mm -hmm. and uh, what's the best practice to do so. Okay, though, I think that sounds pretty interesting. So stay tuned and enjoy Jonas giving his tutorial on compressor valve monitoring. Thank you.